Welcome to my channel where I simplify the web. In this video, I'll be explaining the difference between ng container and ng template in Angular. ng container and ng template are Angular elements which work like containers that have children elements. But then they work in different ways, they have different purposes and different use cases. And in this video, I'll be using examples to explain the difference between them. So let's jump straight to the code editor. Let's start from the ng container element. This element is used when you do not want to add an extra HTML element to the DOM, but you want a wrapper element around other children elements. There are different reasons why you may want a wrapper element, one of which is when you want to apply structural directives. So instead of applying those directives on normal HTML elements, you may want to apply it on the ng container so that it would not be added to the DOM. I'll be using this simple Angular project to explain how the ng container now works. This is a project that I built using the ng new app CLI command and I have changed the app.component.html to this here and in the app.component.ts I have this. So here I added this store object to the app component class and in this store object it has a name property and it has a products property which is an array of different products which you can see here each of them have the ID, the name and the price. And here in the app component.html I use the ng4 directive and I say let product of store.product and then I loop through the product array to render this div and this span here shows the product.name and this is the result here on the UI so we have the h1 angular application and then we have all the product names here iPhone Samsung pixel which is coming from here iPhone Samsung and pixel now what if we wanted to render this div if the product had an ID let's say I take out the ID of this pixel like this by just commenting it what if I wanted to render this only if the product has an ID then the next thing I may want to do is to apply the ng if structural directive product.id. So if the product.id is not null or is not undefined, then it's going to render this. But one problem that we have here is now we have two structural directives on one element. And we know that in Angular, that is not allowed. You can only have one structural directive on an element. So the next thing you may want to do now is to introduce another div right here and then you're going to put this span inside like this and then we can move this ng if to this div like this now angular is no longer complaining because we have only one structural directive let me zoom in a little but one thing we have introduced here is another div element and i'm going to show you so you can see iphone is here samsung is here but the pixel is not here because it doesn't have the id but if I come here and I inspect this, here you can see we have the div for iPhone, we have another div for Samsung, and then we have this last div which is in the DOM when it shouldn't be in the DOM. And then if you open it, you can see that it is empty because we applied an ng if, and because that ng if is false, because the ID property doesn't exist, it turns to a comment here. But then we have this extra div in the DOM which we do not need. Now for small applications, this may not be a problem, but then in a large application, having so many unwanted elements can affect the performance of your application or it could have other negative effects. And this is where we use the ng container. So right here, we can use the ng container on this side here for this div like this ng container. This is an angular element and we can apply the ng4 structural directive which is going to loop through this product. And then here we have this div which says if product.id is true, if there is an ID, then it's going to lock this. If I come back here and I refresh, if I inspect this again, you can see that we have this div for the iPhone. And then we have this div for the Samsung, but you can see there is no div for the pixel because we use an ng container and an ng container does not translate to any HTML element in the DOM. So an ng container is useful when you want to apply structural directives, but you do not want to introduce any HTML element to the DOM. Now, what about the ng templates? The ng template is an element which you can think of as a template that defines a composition of elements but angular does not render this template by default it would only render this template when you specify that it should be rendered so down here below this ng container i'm going to create an ng template and in this ng template i'm just going to have an h2 that says there are no products and then we can give this ng template a name using the hash sign and then what name do we want to give this we can give this a name like no products 
if we go back to this ui and we refresh you can see it doesn't render that template there is no place you can see no product even if you check the dom here you can see there is no place that says there are no products so angular would only render this template when you specify that it should be rendered one way we can render it is right here in this ng container we can have another ng container which checks that there are products remember i am using an ng container because i do not want any element to appear in the dom i just want to use structural directive here so here i can say ng if and then inside of this place i can say if store dot product dot length is greater than zero so that means it's only going to render all of this if the length of the product array is greater than zero and what if it is not greater than zero then we can render this template how do we do that so right here we can add else and then we can specify no product like this so if the product length is greater than zero it's going to render all of this else it is going to render this template if i come here and i refresh you can see because the product length is greater than zero it doesn't render the no product template but if i come here and i just comment all of this to make it an empty array like this so here i have a typescript error and uh, i'm just going to fix that by typing this array like this so which means it's supposed to have an array of an object of this structure now if i come here and i refresh you can see that this template is now rendered uh, let me inspect it real quick you can see this is the h2 there are no product and then our ng container that shows the product is not in the dom because we only rendered that conditionally using the ng if so the difference between ng container and ng template is that ng container serves as a container for elements which can also accept structural directives but this container is not rendered rendered to the DOM. This can be used in cases where you do not want to add an extra HTML node like span, div, section or whatever. While the ng template allows you to create template content that is not rendered until you specifically add it to the DOM. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Also subscribe for more simplified content like this on web technologies.